This is how you know that these are not made up things from people's imagination. That machine. This is what the Anunnaki said. Yeah. This is how you know that these are not made up things from people's imagination. Lock in and buckle up because you're in for another creepy and scary TikTok reaction video. I'm Jesky Chuck, and on these waters, you gotta keep your head on a straight swivel. Let's get into it. You're gonna look at the Smurfs a lot differently after this. Like even the Smurfs story, right? The Smurfs are based on something? Well, um, religious people say, oh, you can't watch the Smurfs because it's bad because they have witchcraft and stuff in there. But the whole thing is, it's based on this, um, the homunculus, the idea that you can create a human life form without a mother or a father. So, really? That's what the Smurfs are based on? So, <laughs> so who, what? What two Smurfs do you think got together and had Smurfette? She was the only female of the Smurfs, so. It's a good question. Well, it's not a question in the Smurfs. They tell you. They tell you that um, Gargamel made Smurfette. But, you know, in somebody's history, I don't want to say what race of people or group of people it is, but in somebody's history, you know, there was um, this homunculus uh, thing. And, like a genetically and, uh, engineered human? Life form, Life yeah. form, mm -hmm. creature. Right. Whoa. And so, you know, it's spoken of his, in history um, very sparingly. But, um, you know, a lot of things in, per, in, in the world are, are about perception, you know? Yeah. So we don't believe that there's clones we don't believe that because we don't feel like we have the technology but the truth is if you go body part to body part you'll go uh what if i lost two legs well we give you two legs well what about two arms i could give you two arms okay well what about the heart yeah no problem what about the what about the like we're already yeah all you'd have to do is make a clone brain dead figure out how to engineer a brain dead clone that'll grow organs for you Look. and then they'll make cloning legal because then you'll never have to worry. Hey, cat, you need a new heart? Guess what? This, sir, this is the same. This is the same pathway that everybody is on in all of these departments. Called Thoth, right? And the Emerald Tablets um, of Thoth are literally mined changing and mind-blowing just because you understand when this was written and the terminology being used is um when was it written far too accurate for now so uh i'm sure that here it is emerald tablet also known as the Smar Smargdine Smargdine tablet or the Tabula Smargdina. Boy, I fucked that up. Uh, it's Hermes, compact and Trismegistus. Cri yeah. Trismegistus. A cryptic hermetic text. It was highly regarded by Islamic and European alchemists as the foundation of their art. Though attributed to the legendary Hellenistic figure Hermes Tras. Tris Megus, how do you say it, bro? How do you say Majestus. It? Tris Majestus. Yeah. The text of the Emerald Tablet first appears in a number of early medieval Arabic sources, the oldest of which dates to the late 8th or early 9th century. It was translated into Latin several times in the 12th and 13th centuries. Numerous interpretations and commentaries followed. So what does it say, though? The Egyptian god Thoth. Okay, it says, beginning in the 2nd century B.C. onwards, Greek texts attributed to Hermes, uh, a syncretic combination of Greek god Hermes and the Egyptian god Thoth, appeared in Greco-Roman Egypt. Those texts known as the Hermetica 
are heterogeneous, heter heterogeneous collection of works that in the modern day era are commonly subdivided into two groups, the technical hermetica compromising of astrological, medical, botanical, alchemical, and magical writings, and the religio philosophical hermetica comprising of mystical philosophical writings holy shit is this weed talk joseph no this is so legit so legit my man so this dude was probably an alien <laughs> dude <laughs> first of all there are no probablys yeah that's the benefit once you hear it or read it um is the fact that it's given in first person and that's not possible mm. the things that are being said are impossible enough time has passed though that it's not like that B but the emerald tablets of thoth the naki i gotta dig it off into this because i'm not too sure what the emerald tablets are the Anunnaki drop in the comments below if you guys heard about the Anunnaki or the Emerald Tablets before how much validity is it says that this is where he came to get the information but if you follow that information pathway um, it leads you to this character called Thoth right due to this how do you know all this first of all is this I don't, I don't think so <laughs> Um, this is, um, where did you read this? <clears throat> if you, if you follow information about humankind, you find out that in all parts of history, people were coming to this region for their information and their knowledge and their things yes. that were forbidden. And yep. their, these, these were not, um, the, these were the the highest of human civilization here. not even comparable to anyone else no. nor since nor now since. or yeah nor since right the and, great pyramid of giza is insane right <laughs> like it's insane. like even tesla says that this is where he came to get the information but if you follow that information pathway um it leads you to this character called thoth right and the emerald tablets um of Thoth are literally mind changing and mind blowing just because you understand when this was written and the terminology being used is um when was it written far too accurate for now so uh I'm, I'm sure that Well, he's like a complete different person when he get on stage you know he be going crazy when you sitting in front of him i'm sure that you know i'm not mad at him you know the and great pyramid of giza is insane this we talk joseph no this is so the great pyramid of giza is insane right like this we talk joseph no this is so legit so legit my man so this dude was probably an alien <laughs> Dude, first, first of all, there, there are, are no probably. Yeah. That's, yeah. The, That's benefit the benefit once you hear it or read it, or read it. Um, um, is, is the, the fact, fact that, that it's given in first person, person and that's, that's not possible. possible. The, things the things that are, that are being, being said are impossible. impossible. Enough, Enough time, time has, has passed, passed, though, that, that it's not, not like, like that. that. This episode had so many... Also known as the... If you were to read, like, thousands of books about people that knew a bunch of shit like you find, start finding out that it's not really about knowing anything it's about where to go to get the information you know what i mean yeah so like when we look at all the ruins all around the world like we're not seeing ruins of colleges and universities and joe rogan cat williams interview knowledge can be a dangerous thing especially when most of the people are still asleep there is about 50 Joe Rogan, Cat Williams interview. Knowledge can be a dangerous thing, especially when most of the people are still asleep. There is about 15% of the population that really understand what's going on, and 85% of the people don't know what's going on. So I watched this interview. I heard about the Baphomet, the Circle, the Emerald Thoth tablets.
I just want to say this. There are certain tablets, Emerald Green tablets, that's out there in the public. But most of the tablets are actually hidden away. The Vatican has most of the Emerald Green tablets. What they are doing in 2024 is going to be something epic because 2024 represents the serpent, the dog eating his own tail. We are in the year of karma. All truth that was hidden for thousands of years is about to be known to the public. But the thing is, once you get this information, what are you going to do with it? See, I understand what they're doing. I've been doing this since 2010. So I know about the UFOs, Area 51, the conspiracy theories. I know about Mostly all of this stuff. What they're doing is they are trying to get the public ready for a UFO or an alien invasion. That's why Cat Williams was speaking about alien invasions. And Joe Rogan know all about alien invasions and cons conspiracy theories. They want you to think that it's a conspiracy theory. It's not conspiracy or theories. It's actually the truth. But a lot of people cannot handle this. Nothing. All they want to know is... Where is their next entertainment going to come from? The new, the new iPhone, the new uh, NPC, the, the new challenge. They don't care about we are being controlled by different aliens or, or we are slaves on this planet. They don't care about this kind of stuff. So what they are doing is they are slowly terraforming people's minds to get them ready for the UFO invasion. There will be a UFO invasion in 2024, but you got to ask yourself, are these going to be good aliens or are they going to be bad aliens? You got to get back out there in nature. You got to start meditating. You got to do shadow work. You got to start grounding because a lot of information will actually destroy your mind. There is a big difference between information, knowledge, and wisdom. We want information. Information comes from the matrix to destroy your mindset. Wisdom, wisdom come from this earth. So they are getting everyone ready, slowly getting people ready for this UFO invasion in 2024. Will you be strong enough to handle it? The Emerald. Wisdom doesn't come from the earth. She cries out from the gates of heaven. So let's just get that straight first of all. Now back in these deep waters. You guys heard this about the Emerald Tablets? Did the Emerald Tablets really reveal secrets of the universe? The Emerald Tablets, or the Smaragdine Tablet, is an ancient Egyptian artifact shrouded in mystery and legend. Believed to have been written by Hermes Trismegistus, a legendary figure who was said to be a combination of the Greek god Hermes and the Egyptian god Thoth, these tablets are believed to contain secret knowledge about alchemy, astrology, and other esoteric topics. The full contents of this mysterious document remain unknown as they have never been definitively translated from their original language. What is known is that the Emerald Tablets describe how humanity can become enlightened through understanding cosmic energies such as fire and air. It also purportedly contains instructions on how to use various magical powers for healing physical ailments or achieving spiritual enlightenment. It has been suggested that it may even contain information on advanced technologies like teleportation or time travel. Despite its many mysteries, one question still remains. Yeah, I'm going to do another video completely on Anaki and Emerald Tablets and Esoteric Knowledge. I'm going to see what they're talking about. I have no idea, but I, I think I got a good idea. But we're going to dive off in this uh Cat Williams Joe Rogan special we got going on, y'all. I think the Space Force, the idea is that they're worried about it's not an idea. someone else being in space first with weapons flying around. You mean us? Yeah. Well, if we can do it, <laughs> they can do it. That's that, the thing. Who is they? Whoever it is. No. China. There's only humankind and yes. alien. Oh, I agree. Right. The problem is, this is what we really need. We really need this neural link to lock us all together so everybody could read everybody's mind. That's what's going to happen, and then there's going to be no more leaders. There's going to okay. be no more governments. Okay. You're being very be no controversial more... <laughs> right now. Okay, so look. That, that, better is better. That exists already. So just understand that um, 
the worldwide government is way smarter than we give them credit for because we they have us believing they don't do nothing. But the truth is, like, like there's no such thing as the government um, is in bed with the Internet. No, the Internet is a government installation that they allowed the world to use for free so that they could have the information willingly because you're on it. That's what it became. Exactly. But I think that's what it was the to become. You think so? Yes. I think the progression of technology oftentimes leads leads itself to like even cell phones. At first, it was Michael Douglas walking on the beach in Wall Street, looking looking amazing with that brick, carrying that big brick. Like, look at that guy. He's got a phone with no cord. He's out on the beach. This is insane. To everybody having a phone. But not to everybody, because those in the ham radio community and people with the CBs, they didn't feel like that was cutting edge because it really wasn't. Like, like it's still cutting edge to, be this able to is, walk around with a device. It's a leap in technology. Here's the thing: when you look at all of our inventions, that's when you know that these um, space encounters were real, because we only have advancement in a couple of industries in the world and everything else is nothing so um like the microwave that they had 30 years ago it, it looks the same as the same microwave now why because it wasn't it was done as a military thing it was supposed to be a weapon and then they found out you know it heats up food and they put a door on it and so it hasn't changed at all because Invention is very difficult. Oh, these dark waters get deep. Trust me, they getting deep tonight. You think that's I, real? I um. <clears throat> Interestingly, I don't. I don't believe in. Um, wow. Well, <laughs> you either believe in the natural and the supernatural or you don't and there are facets to everything so if you don't believe in anything supernatural then I would assume that means you don't believe in God either um it's like I was telling you earlier. I, like I don't, I don't, I don't know how you could be a Christian and not believe in extraterrestrials. It's in your book. It says there was a war in heaven and God was fighting Satan and threw him down here. That's this is taking place. So, I... <laughs> also, when you get to the Old Testament, Ezekiel story. Ezekiel's story is essentially about a UFO encounter. I was really, I was really frustrated as a black person that we weren't included more in the Bible, right? People spend their life trying to find the cure for a cancer. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and working as hard as they can every single day. You know what I mean? Unsuccessfully. We, those are the type of people that help make the world go around. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's all about information. And we, and we be so close most of the time. Mm hmm. But that's how you you can see when we've had influence from something else. That that's that's why um, reading books moves civilization. Mm -hmm. Because, um, like when I when I said like you know I read three thousand books, people were like, <laughs> yeah, right. But you know, every everything in life is about the environment. It, it was grown in the petri dish, right? So if I told you that from the time I was eight to the time I was 12, um, 
I never celebrated any birthdays. I never went to a birthday party. I never had a Thanksgiving, a Christmas. I never trick or treated. I wasn't allowed to watch movies and I wasn't allowed to watch TV. Um, all I could do was read. If I told you that, then you would understand wow. that for eight hours a day, I got eight hours and I can read and I love to read. And so I'm reading books that are 250, 200 pages. And it takes me about an hour to read one. So yeah, takes I'm, an hour I'm, to read I'm reading eight pages? a day. Yeah, like all I'm doing is reading because that's what. So I'm I'm checking out twenty books. The limit at the library is twenty books at one time. So I'm going Monday, Wednesday, and Friday just because this so, is my thing. Like, so you're getting sixty books a week, ab minimum. Because really, yeah, yeah. Because I'm reading more than that because I still have religious books that I have to read. So under, un, understand this is pre-internet first. Right. So understand that in reading one thing that I'm reading, right? Right. <clears throat> this one thing that I'm reading is also requiring me to have this uh, appendix book that is the source book that it's telling me it's getting these things from. And so I've got four books open at a time just for this one book. Like, mm. um, think, why do you think people have a reluctance to take in the idea of a creator? Like, what do you think about it to them? Is There's some people that fancy themselves as intellectuals and they refuse to take in a concept for which there's no proof. And that's what they'll say. They use this very uh, reductionist view of what God is. And they'll say there's no proof. And that, you know, they're a staunch athe atheist. And a lot of them, they even talk like religious people. They, they, almost their atheism becomes a religion. Instead well, of being completely open-minded to the possibility of zero idea what happens when you die. A lot of people that are um, atheists don't like God. And God would have to exist for them to not like it. So, mm. um, also hurt black people in that it counted menthol as a flavor and hurt Newport. So you can't sell menthol cigarettes in California, right? They that have their own cigarettes. They have non-menthol Newports. It's terrible. Why do black people like menthol so much? What's that about? <clears throat> it's a totally different type of cigarette. You're gonna get me canceled. No, um, this is very racist. This is conversation, it? even even though neither of us are. Go figure. Just talking about a type just, of cigarette just that people saying, enjoy. Just saying, why do black people like Newport so much? And a black Menthol and a cigarettes. black person actually getting ready to answer this? Oh, it's terrible on all ends. Um, I don't think it is. Well, I don't think it is either because yeah. we have a a new. It's like if you start asking me about spaghetti, I'm not going to get offended. That. I don't know, man. It's, I ain't never smoked a cigarette in my life. I couldn't tell you why. Don't do it at all. Chew some bubble gum or something. No. Who built them? No people built the pyramids. And if you look around the world, you see certain telltale things that let you know that advanced machinery was in usage. Look, there, sure. this how many companies have done renovations on the White House. None sure. of them have done enough renovation that they can claim it's their White House. So, yes, thousands of years worth of people were there. But that doesn't have anything to do with the building of it. Who do you it. think built it? You decide when they have those intricate carvings and paintings and stuff in gold and stuff. You have to remember, this is in a windowless room, folks. There's no candle soot. There's no... There's <laughs> clearly a power plant and built specifically for that location on this planet. For What do you think, though? It was powered by the hot water springs? That's crazy. If you... 500 even, miles away, some of them. Even if you could do it, let me ask you this. Would you build it on sand? <laughs> <laughs> That's, Nile Valley. That, that they, was the reason they had they electric and Wi-Fi, and mm. they had all of that. The trick is to make us believe that people back then were dumber 
and we're right. smarter. Right. And that whole thing is a fallacy. Yeah, that's and definitely not a... But it's worth it for us to believe that. You know Tom Green? You know Tom Green, right? Yes. Tom Green was here, and he had he has a mule. And he said that you have, like, a connection with that animal where you know you want to go left, and you start, like, looking left, and that thing starts going left. He goes, it's really crazy. It's spooky. He goes, you develop it. It takes time. They have to earn your respect. But once you develop this, like, loving relationship with this animal, you're tuned into it like an avatar creature. Just like when they would lock on to their dragons. He's like, dude, it's like that. I have that with women. <laughs> and... and, and have you ever seen the, the guy that thinks that they found the spot in Africa? What is that, uh, that, the ring called? That Jimmy Corsetti is, uh, he's on this. This dude is an, an expert in this shit. And he's an expert in, uh, ancient catastrophes and, and the remnants and the evidence that shows that these civilizations existed and something happened. And he's focused on this one area in Africa that he believes is Atlantis. And he says it has all the hallmark characteristics and there's all the evidence of massive water erosion surrounding the area. And that at one point in time, it's very likely that this area got hit with a massive flood and it matches all the characteristics of Atlantis. When you see it, when you see the way the, the concentric circles of rings, like yeah. try explaining this, <clears throat> like, you're going to see it and try explaining this through a natural phenomena that doesn't exist anywhere around it. Right. Concentric circles that is near what used to be water and there's heavy water erosion marks all around it that indicate <laughs> massive amounts of quick flowing water in a very short period of time. Right. Yeah, uh, I forget what it's called, but I know exactly where it is. It's right here. Eye of Sahara. That's it. Y'all need Let to hire me. I Bro. love to work there. The reshot structure. That's it. The reshot structure. The guy that thinks that they found this. Yeah, man, we've been all through the Eye of Sahara, man. We know about the pyramids off the coast of China. We didn't well, look at us. We in the Underrunner sub right now. We in Atlantis right now. What is y'all talking about, man? Come on, man. The Eye of Sahara. These dudes, man, they got to they got to catch up, man. It was Joe Rogan and Cat Williams. But, you know, we got to see what they talking about. Y'all, let's let's jump back on these waters. Every single hot Joe Rogan and Cat Williams TikTok that's out. We're about to dive in them. Spot in Africa. What is that? Uh, that the ring called? I think that was the, the last Jimmy one. Jimmy Corsetti yeah. is. This is how you know that these are not made up things from people's imagination. That machine. This is what the Anunnaki said. Yeah. This is how you know that these are not made up things from people's imagination because everything is too factual. Like like this necklace, right? Right. People online were like, yeah, is that Buddhist or that's uh, this or that? It, it's none of that. Like. Like I just try to find the answers to things. So I is that I a ship wheel? I designed this because this is that thing that you see that all the Anunnaki guys that have that look oh. like a Ritz watch and they always have it and you're always trying to see what that is. Yeah, what is that? It is a time and it's a compass. It's a time keeping compass. That's what so, that is? Yeah. So that's what made the carrier of great importance because he was able to do things that were magical in nature, like go somewhere and get right back. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, like that, that thing on the wrist was a compass, a time keeping, a time compass. keeping compass. Yeah. A, a, right. So, you had to believe in things that didn't exist at some point, like magnetics and um, distance and right. probabilities and 
Right. Like when we look at all the ruins all around the world, like we're not seeing ruins of colleges and university, all of that. We're seeing temples and synagogues and churches and but people don't understand that that's where that information was coming from for that period of time. When we went to these temples, they weren't in there singing and reading from a book. They were in there being taught things that they were able to go put into practice. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they were being taught our agriculture. You know what I mean? Like they were being taught. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And they had some very bizarre knowledge too. They had a detailed knowledge of cosmology. They they, Joe, they had a really detailed knowledge of our solar system. 100% of the writings across the world, whoever said anything about space or the universe or what was out there, why were all of them correct, Joe? It's not even possible. Like, mm. how did they know that Mars was the red planet and why was it a worldwide fact? Right. Planetarily, that Saturn had rings. Like, this is a, this is a machine that mm -hmm. we have. It's a biological here. machine. Right. And once yeah. you understand it, you understand it. Yeah. And you yeah. can fuck with that machine. You could juice it up. You could fucking get it stronger. You get it smarter. This you is do a lot of things with that machine. This is what the Anunnaki said. Yeah. This is how you know that these are not made up things from people's imagination, because who are the Anunnaki? I don't know. I keep seeing them all around. A couple of y'all want me to do a video on Anunnaki, so I guess this is what better time to jump on Anunnaki and see what it is. Well, there's a lot of people that if the government can make life easier, a lot of people have it hard, right? So the government yeah. comes in and says, I'm going to make it easier for you, but I'm right. going to need certain requirements of you. I'm going to need you to have a digital ID. That digital ID will be attached to a social credit score. And we're going to give you universal basic income. You no longer have to worry about food or shelter. You'll be taken care of, and now you can pursue your dreams. Is this the mark of the beast you're <laughs> yeah, speaking of, sir? I think it is. Right. I, then look, that's the whole thing is it's never been difficult at any point in history. Like, like we got a dude right now that's telling you front and center that I put a computer in somebody's head, guys. Right. Like. Yeah. And like, everybody's going, yay. It's the greatest thing in the world, sir. Yeah. But we understood this 15, 20, 25 years ago. We understood while watching Tron or while watching Cyborg, we understood that there was just Terminator. this small line medically that needed to be crossed <laughs> in order for us to be able to do these things. Yeah. Like if you can hook a battery up to an octopus and make it go like this, you're halfway there. Yeah. Why? Because this this is a this is a machine that mm -hmm. we have. It's a biological here. machine, right? And once yeah. you understand it, you understand it. Yeah. Machine. You could juice it up. You could get it smarter. This you is do a lot of things with that machine. This is what the Anunnaki said. Yeah. This is what us use tools as a as a. Pre so the Anunnaki was creating and gene slicing by the sounds of it. So who was the Anunnaki? The Watchers? Preteen. I knew that Atlantis really existed just because of how it was spoken of offhandedly. Mm hmm. Us. Use tools. A as a. As a preteen, I knew that Atlantis really existed just because of how it was spoken of offhandedly. Mm hmm. Just that it was known in early exist. writings. Yeah. <clears throat> well, not just mentioned. 
but mentioned offhandedly like you would a place that's just a landmark. Right. We landed in New York before we went to Montreal. Yeah. We were in Austin. Yeah. By, by Dallas. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen the, the guy that thinks that they found the spot in Africa? know that these are not made up things from people's imagination because everything is too factual like like this necklace right right people online were like yeah is that buddhist or that's uh, this or that it, it's none of that like like i just try to find the answers to things so i is that i a ship wheel i designed this because this is that thing that you see that all the anunnaki guys that have that look oh. like a rich watch and they always have it, and you're always trying to see what that is. Yeah, what is that? It is a time, and it's a compass. It's a time-keeping compass. That's what so, that is? Yeah. So that's what made the carrier of great importance because he was able to do things that were magical in nature, like go somewhere and get right back. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, like that the thing on the wrist was a compass? A time keeping a time compass. keeping compass. Yeah. A oh right. So you had to believe in things that didn't exist at some point, like magnetics and um distance and right probabilities and right right that's how like the Anunnaki transcribe Anunnaki Anunnaki as a group of deities of ancient Sumerian Akkadian Assyrian and Babylonians in the earliest Sumerian writings about which come from post-Akkadian period, the Anunnaki are the deities in the pantheon described as An and Ki. Kai? Ankai? The gods of heaven and the goddess of earth. And their primary function would to decree the fates of humanity. They should not be confused with the Pakulu. That's interesting. Anaki. You know, they are interesting. I do want to dive into this Anaki. It seems like I got to do a whole video dedicated. We got to dive in deep. When, we, when I do the Anaki video, which is going to be next, it's not going to be this video because this is a Joe Rogan and the cat williams hot topic like in the middle of the mall keep your head on a swivel dark waters nine you know video but i can tell you right now this anaki video i'm gonna drop is gonna be a banger because we're gonna dive all through there we're gonna look up each one of these names we're gonna look up the sumerians we're gonna look up the akkadians we're gonna look up the assyrians the babylonians the earliest writings, we need to see the actual manuscripts of these writings. Um, post Akkadian period, we need manuscripts. What's Pantheon mean? An and Ki, I remember seeing Anki a lot. You know, the gods of the heavens and the goddess of the earth. Their primary function was to decree the fate of humanity. Why have I not heard about this? The Naki. You know? What are they about? That's what I want to know. Drop in the comments y'all thoughts. Tell me what y'all think about the Naki. Do y'all know about them? How, is this one of them on the screen? Is this a Naki right here? Y'all tell me. Yes, and, in, and in writing that have attracted our attention worldwide, we're all based on some truth. So all the stories of hobbits and have been successful in all of their genres. Why? Because they existed. Like, like we now know that there were whole pygmy groups and that. What? Lord of the Rings was real? Let's go. <laughs> For entertainment purposes, y'all. 
You know, we understand that that's what the Seven Dwarves was. Yeah. Like that island of Flores, man, that they found. The, the, they literally call it a hobbit. It was like a three-foot-tall person that was covered in hair, smaller head than us, used tools. I guess the Misty Mountains were real? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. That there's a devil. You believe in astronauts, though, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but people have always said there is. You mean a bad and a good? Yeah, not just a bad and a good, but an actual evil, malevolent force. No, just start with bad okay, and good. Yes, bad okay, and good. so yeah. if we started bad and good, then we understand what must be at the extremes of that. Right. Nobody's telling a different story. And then there's a the concept of actual entities. Yes. Actual demonic entities that do exist. Well, I'm saying your DNA is either fused or it's not. If it is, it requires a fuser. Mm. That's all. A fuser. Right. What do you mean by that? I'm, I'm saying if they tell you that certain parts of your DNA are fused, that requires a fuser. Did I say that right? I'm not sure. I see. Well, let me ask you this, because this is the end conclusion of that. If, if. Hold on. He said they need a fuser. What is he talking about? DNA being created? They splicing DNA like that CRISPR or something? Y'all let me know in the comments what he's talking about. They fusing DNA? You know we're going to get to the bottom of it. Let me know if you know something, bro. If the creation is real, and if God is real, and if God created us... Wait a minute, hold on. on. Let's be specific. Creation of, of what? That, I just told you about right. my ducks and her eggs. That creation yes. is real, for sure. For sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm not... And life is going to come from yeah. that. Yeah. Right. Uh, what I mean is that, that God created everything, and that, there's, that there really is a, a reason for all of it. What is the reason for us? Like if God okay. really did all right. make all these things right. synchronized together right. and put us here. Right. First of all, I'm grateful even if you're not. I'm very like, grateful. Like, um, I'm very grateful. What an experience. Amazing time. Right. And um, if you take time and space out of things, right, like <clears throat> the people that sold me Call of Duty, right, gave me a great experience that I've been enjoying for years and years and years. And the person that I am on that platform is the person that I would like to be all... <laughs> 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 an experience has been delivered it would be like saying what was the thinking on somebody making an amusement park um to amuse um people so that they could have a full experience um and, and be able to enjoy it. You you know that because things happen, like the humor thing that I was telling you about, mm -hmm. and health, how important good health is over the opposite of that, and um, how everything works without you needing to micromanage it. Your heart doesn't require you to count its beats, and your what's the percentage of brains that are working perfectly versus the ones that are not like all of the processes needed to run you are just too well done to be thrown away like not important because if you learn about it you'll learn about the whole workings of the universe and it's like that in too many different places for us to ignore and the fact that we get a chance to have that experience while at the same time looking at a dog
right. and understanding that our life is one billion times greater than Fido's, <laughs> and we can make sure Fido has a glorious life. Yeah. And ours is still so magnificent that we are in control of certain things and that we can um, not get things right and then get it right and not know things and then know things. And then, you know, it's, it's a wonderful experience that was created. Now yeah, I agree with them, you know. And um, I believe it want, they wanted us to be fruitful, you know, and replenish the earth. That's what he would want, you know, and throw them seeds. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Real ones know what I'm talking about, throwing them seeds. That's what he wants. It's, it's a lock in and buckle up. We got creepy and scary TikTok Cat Williams style. This is the Cat Williams and Joe Rogan mashup. Hollywood is not really there to entertain you. Like, that's great that that happens. But um, propaganda is something that is important to all civilizations. Well, propaganda in Hollywood movies is built into the ingredients list. It's like if you want flour, you need wheat. <laughs> like you're going to have to get the wheat. And if you want to be able to make movies about certain subjects, you have to be willing to work with some people. That You know, it would be nice if you made it so that this is what we're trying to accomplish. And this is showing the, the negative side of this other society. And this... Is the and this is our hero. Is our hero who's going to go do America's bidding and go over there? And you're like, okay. And those movies are successful, and so they continue this relationship, and you become a bit of a propaganda arm <coughs> for the government. And in turn, they don't fuck with you. <laughs> right, but that's what that's what makes information is so powerful is you know you don't care how people feel about the ritual it's about does following the ritual work yeah. and so you can fool yourself into thinking there isn't one but the evidence will be clear so like when i when i be like uh all oh, these guys are wearing dresses yeah, everybody's like, oh, he keeps talking about people wearing dresses. No, it's not. It's, a weird thing. it's not like that. Look at it from a different way. Look at it. Show me one person that ever wore a dress in Hollywood unsuccessfully. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you understand what a ritual is. Mm. So 20 years ago, I knew that transgenders was going to be a thing. It wasn't because... I was a prophet, it's just I had gotten so much information that I understood the that pattern. things are secular, so I understood that the earliest I had seen that word transgender was um, Baphomet, the transgender. Um, and so I knew that in the ritual of Baphomet, the transgender, to show allegiance to him, you had to kiss his ass ring. Really? And it said both of those things. So I knew that both of those things would become popular in the future. Dang, I did not know that about the Baphomet. That is wild. It's... These waters are deep. This is hot and new. Tell me y'all thoughts below. Comment what y'all think about that. Let's dive back into this. It's hot. I'm going to get the hottest ones for us. That's blowing up. 20 years ago, I knew that transgenders was going to be it. I was really frustrated as a black person 
that we weren't included more in the Bible, right? And so I was very, I felt very good when I found that um, some of the books of the Bible that were banned um, were banned. I was really frustrated as a black person that we weren't included more in the Bible, right? And so I was very, I felt very good when I found that um, some of the books of the Bible that were banned um, were banned because they had black guys in them. Really? I see Cat trying, man. It's like he's almost holding back a little bit because he can't say everything, which I get. But, you know, this is your chance. You're yeah. making billions of dollars. Yeah. You're going to get bored. What's the ultimate game? The ultimate game is to run the whole world. You know what the yeah. ultimate game is, Cat? I do. We have an overpopulation problem, Cat. Yeah. It's an overpopulation problem. Right. And we're gonna we're gonna be able to mitigate that with vaccines. We're gonna be able to mitigate that with, with health care. Right. We're gonna figure that out. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of a bunch of people. The fact that there is a God is the biggest conversation worldwide. But the truth of the matter is there is more reason for you to believe there is a God than there is for you to not. Like the way that things interact, like if we're just talking about marijuana or alcohol or whatever that is, you have to understand that this thing serves no other purpose than to bring pleasure to this small group of beings. Right. And the fact that it already was set up to do that, the fact that it was already set up on this planet for there to be medicines for us to find and mm. to utilize. And yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, it's not like, oh, yeah, so he made a cow. No, to make a cow, it means you had to also have made grass. And it means you would have had to have invented a whole new eating system for this animal, which was cud. And that means you would... You would then have to have given him three stomachs to be able to, and you would have to have known that he was going to then emit a gas that was going to be necessary and on the planet. Like, mm, yeah, like none of these things. Fertilizer, are, all of are, it. Right. The Seeds. fact that everything goes together is mm -hmm. how you know. It's pretty wild. Of that. What do you think? And he just made a beautiful point. You know, this is all... You can see his handiwork and everything, you know. Cat was cooking on that one, man. What y'all think? What your boy know? Um, it'll be mandatory. But but for practical <clears throat> reasons, like this thing where the police want you and they have to chase you and you may get away, those those days are done. Yeah, they're just you gonna shut your car off. Yeah. You, your car is going to do what they yeah. tell it to do, yeah. which is get behind this patrol car and follow us to the station. There's Lock speculation the doors, that like... they've, they've had that for a long time, you know. There was uh, that, yeah. that famous journalist, Michael Hastings, that was his name? There's this journalist. I don't know if you know this story, but <clears throat> it's pretty crazy. This guy went to um, Afghanistan. It was Afghanistan with the troops. And supposed to be there writing a Rolling Stone article about this general for a very short amount of time. But then there was the volcano in Iceland and the volcano in Iceland stopped air travel so he this journalist from the Rolling Stone was embedded in this this troop and they started talking shit and he started reporting the shit that they were talking including disparaging comments that the general had said about Obama so the general gets back he has to retire he has to you know it's the Rolling Stone exposed it's a big deal because everybody loves his general so he retires and this Michael Hastings guy is on the run and he's terrified he's telling people if if i commit suicide i did not kill myself people are threatening my life and then he's going down la brea and his car is going like 120 miles an hour and just slams into a tree and explodes and there's a video footage of it this dude is just fly look at that flying down the street hits a tree and the car explodes and they asked security experts at that time, I think it was like 2005, four, 2004, 2005, 
is it possible to control a vehicle remotely? And I said, does your vehicle have a computer? If your vehicle has a computer, they can control it, period. There's a way. And they know that. And they've been doing that for, th this is- 2010. 2010. So this is 14 fucking years ago. Easy peasy. If they could do that then, what can they do now? Let's just shut your fucking car right off. Oh, that's when this article came out. I'm sorry. So I think the accident was 2013. Oh. There you go. Well, how was the article in 2010 if the accident's in 2013? Uh, well, the article came out first and exposed McChrystal. And... Oh, oh, the Rolling Stone yeah, yeah, article. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah, you meant yeah. the article that, oh, on, the, on the accident. If you actually do reading about Tesla... See, that's the thing, Joe. That's why I love history so much. Because once you find out that this world is a circle, you can never get lost. Like, right. you can look at certain things and it'll Patterns. tell you what's going to happen later. Like, with amazing accuracy. Like, um, <clears throat> yeah, like, that's how I knew that things like what you showed me with Hastings, that those were real things. Yeah. Um, it's not... They've always been real. It's it, Everybody who has ever been killed in one of those ways, there was a financial benefit to it. It was obvious. It was easy. You know where it came from. It's yeah. just that they do a good job. But how, how is that difficult if that's your job? Like, they exactly. do this... They do this really well. They do it worldwide. Um, and well, so beloved general who's in charge of trained killers who love him and you don't think he could put one of those dudes on you with a coffee meeting just have a sit down at starbucks with no phones on you and let me explain what's going on a shadow yeah. government is no more difficult than a government yeah the fact that there is a god is the biggest conversation worldwide but the truth of the matter is there is more reason for you to believe there is a God than there is for you to not like the way that things interact like if we're just talking about marijuana or alcohol or whatever that is you have to understand that this thing serves no other purpose than to bring pleasure to this small group of beings right and the fact that it already was set up to do that the fact that it was already set up on this planet for there to be medicines for us to find and mm. to utilize and yeah. you see what i'm saying it's yeah. like it's not like oh yeah so he made a cow no to make a cow it means you had to also have made grass and it means you would have had to have invented a whole new eating system for this animal which was cud and that means you would you would then have to have given him three stomachs to be able to, and you would have to have known that he was going to then emit a gas that was going to be necessary and on the planet. Like, mm, yeah, like none of these things. Fertilizer, are, all of are, it. Right. The Seeds. fact that everything goes together is mm -hmm. how you know. It's pretty wild. And every time we step in and fuck with it, it goes haywire. Right. Every time human beings do it. Predictably haywire. Haywire. <laughs> right. Haywire. Right. But that's part of... That's part of the benefits of free will. Mm -hmm. Is you really can jump into a volcano, dude. Yeah. <laughs> hey, why? <laughs> you really can. That would be like me being on Joe Rogan. Joe don't want me on there. Joe got six comedians that never been funny. He want to push out. <laughs> <laughs> After those comments were made, Rogan would tweet that he would love to have Cat on the show. Fast forward to today and the three hour conversation discussion would touch a multitude of topics, most centering around conspiracy theories, even touching on the building of the pyramids, the creation of the universe, the amount of books he's read, UFO, aliens, and so much more. Now, the energy and tone of the interview would be a complete 180 from the tone of Kat's Club Shay Shay interview, which took place several weeks before. Early in their talk, it would be revealed that Cat Williams has an electric Rolls Royce. This would lead to a conversation towards other self-driving cars, where Rogan would theorize that automated self-driving cars will be mandatory within 100 years from now. He would elaborate by saying the people in charge will say this method will stop crashes and highway thefts. In order to get the general public to abide, they will use this reasoning. Cat's response, all of these things have financial benefits, and they use those perks you just mentioned to get you in. 
I believe that if it will be mandatory, but for practical reasons, like this thing where the police want you and they have to chase you and you may get away, those days are done. Yeah, they're just gonna shut your car off. Your car is going to do what they tell it to do, which is get behind this patrol car and follow us to the station. Now, interesting enough, Rick Ross would also have the same thoughts literally about a year ago when he would admit that he was afraid to drive a Tesla because that the government may hack into it. I've never ridden in a Tesla and the reason being is because I've always had in the back of my mind the government could tap into the brain of the car. Yeah. Now, bring him in for questioning. <laughs> <laughs> Now, as of this report, Kat's first interview with Joe Rogan has already received 1 million views in four hours. Let's talk about him on the comments below. No people built the pyramids. No people. I don't know. Do y'all got them electric cars, man? Give me an old school, man. My dream car is a 1987 Ford Bronco. I want one of them Broncos, man. Give me something old school. I like it old school. What about you? What's your dream car? Throw it in the comments. If you this, if you were to read this like Naki. on the dark matter tour, because this time in history we know more about the universe and space than we have ever known in the history of mankind. And some of them they done found out they don't know how to tell you because they don't know might react to some of the shit that they have found out. So they found out that in the universe, all of the galaxies, all of the moons, all of the suns, all the stars, everything we can see with our eyes, they found out that that is 5% of the universe. So, that means we know 5% of what the they don't want to say what the other 95 percent is. They don't want to say it's God. They don't want to say it's a So they called it dark matter. That's what it is. 95 percent dark matter. They done found out they don't want to tell you. Thanks to James Webb Telescope, we can see all the way back to where the Big Bang was supposed to be. Hey, guess what? I don't want to be a spoiler alert, but it wasn't no bang. And it wasn't no So, back to the old drawing board. And they found out there's no dead particles nowhere in the universe. None. No dead particles. So that means when your ass leave here, you go somewhere else. We don't know where. Just here to let you know that no matter how your life is going right now, please understand that this is the greatest time to be alive for any human beings that have ever been on this planet right now and you're involved. The greatest time to be alive. You're the first people that don't have to take it. If you don't like something, you ain't got to take no. Even if you don't like the way God made you, you can switch it up. People who built the pyramids built them way earlier than the conventional dating is. They think there's real evidence that shows no. they're 9,000, 11,000 years old. Easy. No people built the pyramids. No people? No. Who built them? No people built the pyramids. And if you and if you look around the world, you see certain telltale things that let you know that advanced machinery was in usage. Look, there <clears throat> For this sure. whole thing where slaves are stronger people is a fallacy. We like to believe that slaves are stronger. Slaves are weaker because they don't eat the right food and they live a terrible life. Um, your slave population is not smarter and better conditioned well, they unless don't, they you're don't enslaving think the Jews. The pyramid. They stop thinking that. And if you and if you look around the world, you see certain telltale things that let you know that advanced machinery was in usage. Look there. <clears throat> For this sure. whole thing where slaves are stronger people is a fallacy. 
And he's got a point, man. You know, when you're not eating, you eating frozen pizzas every day. I don't know. You can make it work if you hit some push-ups. I don't know. It's two sides to the coin. You could definitely make it work. Um, but it would be harder living a rough life, you know. I would imagine. But I don't know. One of y'all said that the pyramids was built by them digging a hole or something, man. That was interesting. That was probably the best theory I thought of. I mean, I've heard was it being dug out in the uh and like poured or something. That makes more sense to me. That that's that's why um, reading books moves civilization mm -hmm. because. Oh, sorry. You think that's I, real? I, um, <clears throat> interestingly, I don't, I don't believe in, uh, well, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> You either believe in the natural and the supernatural, or you don't. And there are facets to everything. So, truth yes. versus lies, family. You may not know what to fucking believe. The truth could be stranger than fiction. They won't tell you shit. They won't tell you that Wendy Williams is Sasquatch. That bitch is big boy. Every time you see on hiatus, that's when you start seeing sightings of big foot. Truth will come out later, you'll see. Just say that tell us anything. That's why it's called World War Three, Because there's a whole mother war going on right now. And they ain't telling us. We don't even know whose side is what. Whole war going on. Fortunately for us, it's simple. It ain't even complicated. White people don't get nervous. It ain't about race this time. Mm -mm. Ain't about money this time. No, no. This time it's the lie versus the truth. Just that simple. The lie versus the truth. That's it. Just the lie versus the truth. I, the lie. I'm not here to say what side is the best side. I'm just saying them the sides. Watch this. Where's all the lovers of truth fat in the building? Make some noise if you love the truth. Look at the lovers of truth strong in this. Keep that same energy. Don't switch up on me. It's the lovers of truth. Watch this. Where's all the liars in the building? Make some noise. Liars. You just understand. It's two sides. You always got to have a proper respect for your ops. One of these sides don't respect the ops. The lovers of truth, they don't give a f about the lie. And they will tell you that this is the truth right here. I don't give a f You tell them about the lie, they don't, the lie ain't shit. Shit. Lies run the world. Lies run the world. Every, but every time one lie get told, one million people make one million dollars. For every lie, you know who the fuck paid for it? Whoever the fuck don't know, it's a lie. That's who the fuck Yep. And they lie to all of us. He's Some of us. Look at white people. Not us. Yes. All of us. They lie to us all together. Da Vinci or like information is what is limited and whole industries can be built upon your ability to know how certain things are going to hit certain people and this was before we called things promotion and marketing you know what i mean that's mm -hmm. <clears throat> hollywood is not really there to entertain you like that's great that that happens but um Propaganda is something that is important to all civilizations. 
Well, propaganda in Hollywood movies is built into the ingredients list. It's like if you want flour, you need wheat. <laughs> You're going to have to get the wheat. And if you want to be able to make movies about certain subjects, you have to be willing to work with some people. And, you know, it would be nice if you made it so that this is what we're trying to accomplish. And this is showing the, the negative side of this other society. And this is the and this is our hero. Because our hero is going to go to America's bidding and go over there and you're like, okay. And those movies are successful. And so they continue this relationship. And you become a bit of a propaganda arm <clears throat> for the government. And in turn, I'll fuck with you. <laughs> right. But that's what, that's what makes information so powerful is, you know, you don't care how people feel about the ritual. It's about does following the ritual work. Yeah. And so you can fool yourself into thinking there isn't one, but the evidence will be clear. So like when, I, when I'm like, uh, Oh, these guys are wearing dresses. Yeah, everybody's like, oh, he keeps talking about people wearing dresses. No, it's not, it's, weird it's not like that. Look at it from a different way. Look at it. Show me one person that ever wore a dress in Hollywood unsuccessfully. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you understand what a ritual is. Mm. So 20. Damn, he said, name anyone in Hollywood who didn't wear a dress unsuccessfully. Who did wear a dress unsuccessfully. That's tough. He spitting. 20 years ago, I knew that transgenders was going to be a thing. It wasn't because. I think the Space Force, the idea is that they're worried about. It's not an Why do black people like menthol so much? What's that about? Like, when I say nothing to lose, ticket out. Books, moves, civilization. Yeah, man, Terry Crews seems like a pretty cool dude, man. Real passionate. I got nothing to say bad about the guest dude, man. I hope he does successful, man. Real talk. Dang. He said, every time someone tells a lie, one million people make one million dollars. That one hit. Hey, if y'all made it this far, say some words of encouragement. And I appreciate y'all sticking on these waters, man. Uh, I just wanted to get this Cat Williams one in and the Joe Rogan because I knew this was going to be a hot topic. And I saw that they were talking about some interesting points. So we had to dive in and see what they was really talking about. So, yeah, I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.